Jacqueline says. I'm a fucking sex symbol. She wants a lean, she wants a Gucci. I ride with some harness on me, I got a blue cheek. Pull up in a Jeep, I put it on for a Jeep. I want your body, give me some cup on the front seat. We go. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cece family. So, I am featuring none other than the Jaclyn Hill palette today on my channel. You guys are watching this video in black and white because I want you guys to be just as shook as I was by the pigmentation on this palette. I'm not even going to give you guys a long intro. We're just going to jump straight into it. All right, guys, so we got it. This is a unopened Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. If you know nothing else about me and my channel, you know I use the hell out of the Bling Boss palette from the Vault Collection. I saw Marquise Ward post this look. Can we get into this? Like, this looks so bomb. Make sure you guys are following him. Ooh, I didn't even like it yet. But make sure you guys are following him. Oh my God. Like, he effortless glam so i had some points saved up and i had a 20 percent off one qualifying item palette so i ended up paying like 20 bucks for this palette and if you guys don't know it does retail for 39 dollars so it was well worth it even if i didn't have those coupons i would have still bought it because i kind of had this theory of like when you're thinking about something too many times just go ahead and buy it. let's go ahead and open the package because like i said I hadn't opened it or anything like I literally wanted to come straight home and test everything out for the first time with you guys so bubble wrap still on it and this is what it looks like very just minimalistic and like the complete opposite of what I think of when I think of Jacqueline so the big reveal oh. I'm just gonna swatch um, the shades, honestly, the shimmers, I know the shimmers are probably going to do what they need to do, but I want to swatch like the yellow, um, the purple, basically like the, um, bold or like neon colors. Cause those are usually the colors that are like super hard to show up on our complexion. So I want to try, um, a look with the bold colors and we're going to see how that turns out. So just swatching a yellow, this is no joke. Oop. It looks a little patchy. I don't know, we'll see though. But that color payoff, sis. The next shade that I wanna try is Positivity. And it's like this neon pink shade here. Okay, that's not too bad for one swipe. I don't know how it's coming across to you guys on camera, but in person, I can actually see it pretty good. So that's Positivity. Therapy Sesh, which Lord, where would I be without therapy? And that's just this like bold neon purple. Ooh, shit. Did y'all see that shadow drop off my hand? Y'all, that purple, oh my God. And it's so opaque. Jacqueline, sis. Jackie, you, you might have did something. You might have done something. You might have done something. So the last shade I want to swatch is Tipsy Girl. And y'all, I think Jacqueline might have did a thing again like all right so let me go ahead and wipe this off of my arm before i have an accident because i'm also a klutz and before i know it i have clothes that look like toucan sand because i would have accidentally wiped all those shades on my y'all i cannot make this up literally i put the makeup wipe on it and you can still see the pigment Jacqueline. So the very first shade I'll be using is No Joke. No Joke will be followed by the orange shade Feeling Myself. 
and that'll be followed by my lid color dance party. I'm getting all that out of the way. I will have the shade names listed across the screen because I need you guys to understand how dedicated I am to making sure that I am putting out the best content that I'm capable of putting out right now. I filmed this look literally maybe about two or three weeks after Jacqueline announced this palette and it was in Ulta, obviously before quarantine happened. Do y'all know when I finally sat down to start like editing this video? Honey, the makeup tutorial clips were gone. They were gone. I was so mad because I'd already put it on my like story like to show people what I was working on. So I had to refilm it. I don't remember what settings I had my camera on um, in the intro. So this is what the color is looking like in these clips. I kind of like it in a very oddly satisfying way. I kind of look a little like washed out, but you can really see how pigmented the shadows are. And honestly, that's really just what's important to me that you guys can see exactly how pigmented these shades are. So um, this look does require quite a bit of blending and on my lower lash line, I'm literally taking all the same colors that I use on my lid and it's in the same exact order. So no joke being the yellow color, filling myself being the orange color and my lid shade being dance party. And I literally just, you know, blended everything together. So this look is all about blending. It was very simple. It did not take me long to do this look at all. And I was shook at how good it actually looked. All right, so I have applied lashes. These are the Salon Perfects in number 615. So my lip liner of choice this day was Trendsetter by Morphe. It's super bomb brown lip liner. And for the lip color, I'm actually using a lipstick from MAC called Try Again from the Aaliyah Collection. I don't know how I feel about this, but we're gonna go ahead and get the hair prepared and get you guys the slow-mos and then I'll be right back. And that is it for the look, guys. I really hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial. Jacqueline, two thumbs up. This palette is bomb, okay? Pigmented, period. The range, period. Like, brown girl friendly, period, period, period. You did that, I'm so proud of you, and I love the palette. It's another one that I'll be able to keep in my collection and not have to return to Ulta because I don't like it. So, you know, you passed the test. So this will be staying in my collection. And yeah, as always, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.